I'll be showing 10 new features in Teams. This includes some amazing new updates like collaborative annotation, speaker coach, and Cameo, as well as some updates to the core product. So let's get started. The first new feature is a long time request and that is collaborative annotation on meeting content in Teams. So I'm in a meeting here and I'm gonna share my screen. So in the upper right, I'll go to share and the new collaborative annotation only works with the full screen sharing. So it doesn't work with Window or PowerPoint Live. I'm gonna share my screen here. So here's the OneNote that's shared on my desktop. This will work with any window, any app, whether it's a browser window, whether it's an app window, I've chosen OneNote. And to start collaboratively annotating, go highlight near the top until the Teams toolbar drops down and there's a pen and I'm gonna choose Start Annotation. This will trigger whiteboard in the background and you can see who can annotate on the shared screen. I'm gonna choose everyone and we'll click this button. And now what you're gonna see is the whiteboard toolbar pops up right here and I can choose all my pens and other things. I've got the red pen. I'm gonna circle this on Inatech and I might wanna choose the highlighter, highlight down here on confidential. Now other people in the meeting can do things too. So you can see Alex here, he's gonna go and he's gonna to click to add a sticky note maybe, he's gonna click right there and he will say, remember the cover sheets. And you can do things like give a thumbs up, you can like it, and Alex can do whatever he wants at the same time. So maybe Alex wants to go and looks like uh, he's gonna highlight the cover sheets because those are super important. Let's get that. So all sorts of collaborative annotation can happen right there in real time. Now, if I wanna choose the gear here and say only I can annotate, I'm the meeting organizer, and maybe let's say, you know, I don't like this sticky note here, I can actually just go and delete that. And when you're done with all of your annotation, the organizer just goes up near the top and hovers again and chooses this pen to say stop annotation and you'll see everything disappears. So it's like a temporary screen annotation that can happen in real time during that meeting. The second new feature is Speaker Coach in Teams meetings. Speaker Coach uses AI to give you personalized feedback in a meeting on how you're coming across when you're speaking. In July of 2022, Speaker Coach is currently in public preview and rolling out broadly later this summer. So to enable this, I'm in a meeting here and I'll go to the three dot menu and I'll go down and choose turn on speaker coach. You get a little privacy notification right here. I'm going to close this. Now speaker coach will listen to me talk. First, I'm going to start talking really fast. So as I'm going through my presentation, I'm going to talk about all the five planets. We have Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And when I'm talking really fast, speaker coach is going to give me, oh, try speaking a bit slower. You can see the little notification here. We'll close that. Speaker Coach also listens for things like inclusive language. For example, if I start saying, hey, you guys, check out these planets, you guys, you guys might be non-inclusive. Speaker Coach also will listen for filler words. If I'm going through and saying things like July 14th and July 15th and, you know, and like the spacecraft like performed all programs, Speaker Coach can also detect monotone. So if you know Ferris Bueller and the really boring teacher, when the satellite approached Jupiter, it discovered a few rings around Jupiter as well as volcanic activity on the moon. Oh, try varying your pitch and adding emphasis to keywords. I guess I won't speak as boring. When you're done, you can turn off speaker coach. So I will hit the three dot menu and I'll go down and choose turn off speaker coach. And there's a note, you can always turn it on again at any time during the meeting. So what I'm gonna do now is hit leave at the top and you can see a report is now available. If I go and I'm gonna go in here in the meeting and I'm gonna click edit, you'll see this speaker coach report right here and I can click into it. In addition, you'll have an activity bell. So if you wanna to get to it that way, you can just go to your activity bell and it's available. So here is my speaker coach report and it shows how long I spent speaking and all the suggestions I have to review. And you can see these are the six categories it looks at. Repetitive language, inclusiveness, filler words, pace, intonation. Monologue is one that's really interesting. If you're in a meeting with a bunch of people and you're talking for most of the meeting, it'll notify you saying, hey, you've been speaking for 10 minutes and no one else has said anything. But in this case, I can drill in. So if I go to filler words, I can click here, and I said, you know, and I was saying like, and it'll highlight the places that I was saying those things. I can look at pace. 
So once I was, I need to slow down a bit, you can see that highlighted here. And once I needed to speed up a bit, so it gives me different examples there. Things like inclusiveness, when I said you guys, or repetitive language. You can see here I said really and also many different times. So what's nice in speaker coach is it not only gives you real time feedback, but it gives you a little report. And this is only visible to you right here. It is private. If I go into activity here, here's the report that I just got, and you can keep track of different reports that you had. The other nice thing is you can say automatically start speaker coach in meetings. This means every time I start a meeting, speaker coach just for me will be enabled and I can get that real time feedback. The third new feature is that Teams meetings for web now have the modern experience. So I'm gonna open up a Teams meeting and hit join. And now you're gonna see the same experience you see in desktop and Mac. I can turn on my camera. Hey, all of these controls are here. And when I join the meeting, now you see all the controls in the upper right and you no longer have that bar right here. In late July, this is in public preview and should be broadly available in August and beyond. The fourth new feature are improvements to together mode. So I'm here with all my friends and we're gonna jump into together mode. Now what I can do is force together mode for everyone. So first I'm gonna go in the upper left and choose view and choose together mode. All right, now we're in the class. The key new feature is forcing it on for everyone because I want everyone in my class to see the same view. So in the lower left, I will click change scene and there's this new option, select together mode for everyone. So I'm gonna check this on right there and click apply. All right, now all my friends in the class, are you seeing the classroom as well? All right, so it's just that easy to have together mode on for everyone. The fifth new feature is Cameo integration with PowerPoint Live in Teams. Cameo lets you insert live video feeds into your PowerPoint. I have a full deep dive on that in the upper right if you wanna drill in. I'm just gonna quickly add Cameo to this deck and then show integration with PowerPoint Live. So I've got some slides here in my solar system and I can go to the Mars slide here. I'll go to the upper right and choose insert and way over on the right is Cameo and that's gonna insert this live video feed. So I'll click Cameo and down here it inserts the video feed. And I'm gonna drag this up here and hey, there I am in that live video feed. Now I'm gonna go and change the shape of this to a circle. So we'll make that a circle and now I'm gonna drag this and make it go right over Mars. So when I get to the slide, it's gonna have this nice overlay of me in the Cameo video. Okay, now it's all set and I'm gonna save this PowerPoint deck. Now I'm gonna join a meeting and show how this looks like in PowerPoint Live. So let's click join. Now I'm here in the Teams meeting and I'm gonna share that Cameo PowerPoint deck. So I'll go to click share and I'm gonna browse my computer and upload that deck. Okay, Solar System Cameo, I'll hit open. Now it'll upload this into Teams, PowerPoint Live. Now I'm in my PowerPoint deck and on the bottom, I'm gonna navigate the slides. So we'll go through and go to the next slide. And now I'm gonna go click on the slide where you can see here this little Cameo overlay. And if I click on this, hey, here I am in Mars overlaid. The sixth new feature is new layout controls in PowerPoint Live, including for Cameo. If I go here on Layout, I can choose Standout, and now I've popped out of Mars and into Standout mode. I can go here and say Content Only. Now I'm disappeared. If I want to bring Cameo back, I just choose Cameo. The seventh new feature is the ability to pop the shared content window out of the main Teams frame. So for example, I'm here in a meeting and I have Alex and Ella and maybe there's a bunch of people and I wanna be able to see them better. And then I have my people over here on the right in a pane and I wanna have a little more space. So in the top here, what you're gonna see is pop out. And I'll click this and you can see that this window is now popped out. So I can size this a little bit. Maybe I make it a little smaller. And now I can see the other people here in the main meeting if I want. And if I wanna minimize this for a little bit, I can do that and I can focus on the main window. So this is an easy way to separate your content back from the Teams meeting main window. The eighth new feature is that in Teams meetings, the Forms app has been renamed to Polls. So if I go up to Plus under Apps, I'm gonna search for an app and I'm gonna search for Polls. Polls is the new Forms app. They're gonna be deprecating the actual forms itself and instead it's been renamed to Polls. So I will choose Polls here and we'll click Add and now click Save. 
Now you can see the new polls app and these are all generated by Microsoft Forms. Also, you can see polls is added up here. The ninth new feature is a new question type for these polls in Teams meetings. So we added the polls app in the previous feature and I'm gonna open this up and I'll go click new poll to launch a new one. You'll see a new question type, which is rating right here. So I can get insights and have people vote on things. So I'll click rating and I'll give a question. How excited are you for the new TPS report cover sheets? Now by default, you get five stars as an option to vote on for the rating. If you don't want five, you can drop that down and change it. You can make it a little bit less. You can also change the symbol. So in this case, I've got lots of options. I'm gonna choose smiley face to gauge the excitement. And you can also add other levels and labels here, but I'm just gonna keep this simple right now and I will launch it. So this pops up for everyone in the meeting. How excited are you? I'm very excited. I'm gonna choose five smiley faces and I'll hit submit. Now it tallies it up. Ooh, a little nice animation. Five smiley faces, that's my vote. Let's see how the other people vote. Oh, I see my smiley faces going down as they're tallied. It looks like two people voted only one smiley face. That makes me a little sad. Over on the right-hand side, you can also get the tally of all of the voting, just like you normally see for polls questions. The 10th new feature is the ability to have a chat with yourself. So I'm gonna switch to chat here. And up top, I'm gonna click the new message button and I will type my name. And there I am. And this is my chat space. And you can see right here, it says, this is your space. This chat's just for you. Use it for drafts or sending files and experiment with chat. So down here I can say, hey, Mike. But I can also do things like maybe add a loop. Maybe I wanna attach a file so I can get to it later, upload a file. So it's a nice little private space inside of Teams. You still have things like files, organization, and activity at the top, just like you would in a normal chat. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.